update announcements. Okay. So, what is the meaning of announcement? Uh, announcement is a process of what uh, plugging additional functionality to SAP standard transactions without disturbing the existing functionality. Okay, I repeat once again. Enhancement is a process of plugging additional functionality to the standard SAP transactions without disturbing the existing functionality. Okay. So <clears throat> if you see these enhancements, we can enhance the SAP transactions using multiple ways. Okay. So we have procedure oriented approach and we have object oriented approach. So if you take procedure oriented approach, we have user exits and customer exits. Then if you take object oriented, we have baddies and what enhancement framework. Baddies and enhancement framework. Okay. So to begin with, we'll start with what uh, customer exits. Okay. Then we'll see what baddies. Then we'll go to enhancement framework. And in this enhancement framework only, I'll discuss about what user exits. Okay, right. So we'll start with what customer exits. So what type of enhancements we can make to SAP transactions is one thing is we can impose impose what, customer specific validations impose customer specific validations on the what standard fields of SAP on the standard fields of uh, standard SAP transactions okay so we can impose customer specific validations on the standard fields of standard SAP transactions no. Okay, next is what we can plug additional menu items. Yeah, please mute your speakers. Okay, so we can plug what additional menu items in the standard menus in the standard menus of again standard SAP transactions in the standard menus of standard SAP transactions then we can plug additional fields we can plug additional fields in the standard screens of what standard SAP transaction so these are the types of enhancements that we can make toward SAP transactions so first of all the meaning of enhancement is plugging additional functionality without disturbing the existing functionality so what type of enhancements we can do is there are the three types of enhancements we can do we can impose customer specific validations on the standard fields of uh, standard SAP transactions, we can plug additional menu items in the standard menus of uh, standard SAP transactions. Then we can plug additional fields in the standard screens of what uh, standard SAP transactions. Okay, so there are the three types of validation we can do. And how to achieve this validation is we have different enhancement techniques. Okay, we have user exits, we have customer exits, we have baddies, enhancement frameworks. Okay, there are the types of enhancement we can do. So to begin with, we'll start with what uh, customer exits. Okay, customer exits. So these customer exits, customer exits. Again, I can classify into what uh, three types. Customer exits I can classify into three types one is function exits okay one is function exits another is menu exits then we have what a screen exits 
okay one of the enhancement technique is what customer exits we can further classify customer exits into what uh, three types function exits menu exits and what uh, screen exits so if you take function exits this function exit is used for what what imposing what customer specific validations imposing customer specific validations on what standard fields we can use function exits for imposing customer specific validations on standard fields and menu exits we can use to plug what additional menu items and the screen exits we can use to plug what additional fields okay so customer when i say components of customer exits customer exits can be of what three types function exits menu exits and what screen exits okay so directly we'll start with an example then it will be more clear so those are join late i repeat once again so as part of this cross application uh, we are starting with what enhancements concepts <clears throat> so in this enhancements we are going to discuss these things user exits customer exits baddies and enhancement framework so i'm starting with what customer exit so what is the meaning of uh, enhancements enhancement is a process of what plugging additional functionality in the standard sap transactions without disturbing the current functionality uh, narender please mute your speakers now in the attendees yeah thank you if you have any questions you can unmute and ask or you can use a chat box right right so this what type of enhancement we can do is we can do the three types of enhancements so to begin with we have customer exits customer exits we can further classify into what three types or we call these terms as components of what customer exits components of customer exits so we have three types of customer exits function exits menu exits and what uh, screen exits function exits we can implement to impose what customer specific validations and menu exits we can impose we can implement to plug what additional menu items screen exits to plug what additional field so first of all i'll take an example then we'll understand you take any sap transaction suppose we have many sap standard transaction we have mm01 we have xd01 we have xk01 we have va0 like this we have many what standard sap transaction so to begin with i'll start with very simple example uh, we have a t code what xd01 okay what is the purpose of this xd01 t code to create the customer so for creating the new customer in sap system we go for what xd01 so my requirement is here so this is the sap system uh, what is the base table for customer master? The base table for customer master is what? KN1. Okay, KN1 is the table which stores the customer master data. One second. Second bus. Okay, no. so see it. <coughs> Let me open the KN1 table. Okay, so this is a table which stores what uh, customer master details. This table has got some 211 fields. Let me check do we have any entries in this table. Entries 19,576. So as of now, try to understand this KN1 table, KN1 database table, 
has got some entries 19,000 what 76 entries yeah. 19,576 entries are there done so my requirement is first let me try to create a new customer so whenever we create a new customer the customer master data will come and sit in which table knm table so i'll try to create a simple customer okay so where do we create xg01 so i'll go to xg01 okay so again let us not try to understand all these things uh, they are not related to our technical thing the functional thing so just ignore it i'm trying to create a new customer so for just for creation purpose i'll choose account group as something sold to party r32 crm okay and i'm not providing any customer number so whenever i choose this account group r3 to crm the customer number will be assigned internally means dynamically the customer number will be generated so that is the reason i'm choosing this account group so r3 to what crm i'm not putting any other data just I'll press enter okay then it has taken the control to a new screen we are in which tab now address tab okay so customer is what here internal internal means what if the customer is successfully created the customer number will be internally generated okay right title i'll just give the title as something mr then i'll give the name i'll give the name of the customer as something uh, gensoft done i'm just trying to provide the data for what uh, mandatory field so we have a field what country here okay so for my easy uh, what remembering i'll give the country key as something what india so i'm trying to create what uh, indian customer i'm trying to create indian customer so what are the fields i gave in the initial screen i gave account group as r3 to crm then i press enter i got the screen then here i'm giving the title i'm providing some name then i'm providing the country key as what india done i'll try to save it i don't know whether this data is sufficient to create a customer or not let me try to save i'm trying to save the customer good so you can see at the bottom what happened here account 301701 has been what created the customer is what created what is the number here 301701 okay done let me go to k11 table earlier we have 19576 now I'm in what 19,577. Okay, done. So what is the meaning? Customer got created. What was the customer number? Is it there? Yeah, 301701 is a customer number. 301701. So I'll provide the customer number here. 301701. So when I execute. It's taking some time. I'll execute this. Yeah, this is the customer I created. I give the country key as India and uh, name as what Gensop. So, also done. So, my requirement now is let's try to understand. My requirement is let me try to create one more customer. So, as usual, in the XG01, I'll choose account group as R3 to CRM. I'll press enter. Then I'll provide some uh, what title. I'll give a name here. I'll give the country as what something what India. I'll give the country as India. Done. Now, in the control data tab, here uh, Ramesh, please mute your speakers now. Uh, what is your mail ID? Uh, Ramesh? Yeah, is it Ramesh? Yeah. Ramesh, I don't have your mail ID. How did you got the meeting ID? Anyone gave you? Sorry? 
sorry, your voice is breaking. Hello. Yeah, Ramesh. Yeah. Me and my friend, another one came for you and put. No, no. How did you got the meeting ID? How you are able to connect to this meeting? Anyone gave you the meeting ID? Sorry? No, your voice is not Hello? Yeah, Ramesh, your voice is breaking. Okay, I'll speak to you after the session. Fine. You mute your speakers. So here, yeah, my requirement is, so I'm trying to create a new customer. Uh, customer belongs to which country? India. Okay. Right. Let me go. To, as of now, we are in address tab. Let me go to what? Control data tab. Okay. I'll go to control data tab. If I go to control data tab. Yeah. In the control data tab. In the control data tab. We have a field called as industry. So try to understand. We have a field called as industry. This field is not mandatory. According to SAP, this is a predefined transaction. This field is not mandatory. So I'm trying to create a customer. So my requirement is I want to perform a check. If you are trying to create Indian customers, if you are trying to create Indian customers, compulsory we need to capture what industry key. Okay. Otherwise, it should not allow me to save the customer. That is a requirement. I repeat once again. My validation is if you are trying to create the Indian customers, this industry key should be made what mandatory. So as of now, I am trying to create the Indian customer and without giving the industry key, when I click on save, I am trying to save the customer. What happened here? The customer got created. What is the customer number? 301702. 301702 customer has been what created. So if you go back to K11 table, okay. So earlier we have 577, now we are I got 578. So what is my validation here? My requirement is what here? So customer will give us this requirement. What is the requirement? While creating new customers, while creating new customers, okay, industry key. Industry key should be made mandatory. Industry key should be made mandatory for what? Indian customers. So our business requirement is this one. What is that? While creating the new customers, industry key should be made mandatory only for what? Indian customers, not for all the customers. Okay. So this is the requirement given by the customer. Okay. So what you have to do as a developer? This is the validation related to which transaction, where do we create the new customers in XD01. So we need to check what is the enhancement that we need to implement to achieve this particular requirement. Okay, so again, enhancement can be of what many forms. It can be in the form of user exits, customer exits, baddies and what enhancement framework. So the customer will simply give us a requirement like this. Okay. Even the functional consultant also will provide as a requirement like this. So it is a job of the developer to identify the suitable enhancement and then implement that particular enhancement. Make clear. So let us see how to do it. So any question so far, please ask me. Any questions?
Uh, Vitash, why is the name is exiting? We should ask SAP about that. So let us not get into those things. Yes, sir. Exit means what? It is not available by default. It is plugged externally. Exit means which is not available by default, which is plugged externally. That's the reason they gave it as what exit, but why they gave it and it is not get into those things. Okay. Right. Right. So this is the uh, requirement given by functional consultant to the ABAP consultant. So now the ABAP consultant, what he has to do, he has to identify the suitable enhancement technique in XZ01, identify that and then implement it. So my requirement is, as of now, we don't know about user exit, we don't know about baddies, we don't know about enhancement framework. Okay, we know something about what customer exit. So 